Hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and in today's sewing vlog I'm going to turn this curtain into... A little black dress with a full circle skirt, pockets, because you know a handy little black dress needs pockets, and a red detail in form of a bow. Okay, let's get into this sewing vlog. I started this project off by making a full circle skirt, but I'm going to make two half circle skirts and sew these together with pockets in between. And then something really dramatical happened. I dropped my giant piece of chalk and now I have two smaller pieces of chalk. I cut this and for some weird reason my camera didn't film it and the reason is probably that I didn't turn on the camera. So yeah, my fault. But anyway, I just cut the two circles out and now I'm going to remove this and here you have two half circle skirts that will form one big skirt. Ta -da -da -da! And this is what a full circle skirt looks like when you lay it on the floor and this is what it looks like with a dog on top. And now it's time for pockets. So I'm going to draw my pocket pieces out by hand. I simply just copy one that I find on the internet. You can also print this if you want to make it easier. And then I cut four pieces out, but I also lost this footage. But that's the last karma I had during this video. And then I pinned the cutout pieces on the circle skirt and I pinned them 18 centimeters. Give me a second for a quick Google search. And for the people who use this really weird measuring system, that is seven inches. Then I attach the pocket pieces to the skirt and now I'm going to close the skirt. For the one shoulder mod model, you have to close it uh, one side. I closed it two sides because I first made this into another model and then I turned it into one shoulder model. So yes, yeah, see if you, you see a forward you want to make, you need to close one or two sides. But you sew it around the pocket and this is how you make a circle skirt with pockets. Now we need a top to attach this to. Now I'm going to make the top part and this will be a little bit complicated because I first made one model and then I changed my mind and turned it into the one shoulder bow thingy. So I folded in the sleeves of my shirt and I copied the shape onto my fabric and then I measured how deep I wanted the cleavage to be and I cut this out. Then I folded this piece double to draw the back piece. So I have three pieces now. And I want to double this and I will show this with one piece, but I did it for all of the pieces. So I pinned my piece of fabric to the fabric that I wanted to use for the inside and I cut this out. Then I laid the two pieces I just made right sides together and I sewn all around the edges but I left an opening so I could turn this around. Before I turned it around I also zigzagged to finish off the edges. Then I turned it around and I also top stitched this for a neat finish. I did this for all three of my pieces but I'm not going to show you that just because you know it's kind of a waste of your time. what the finished piece looks like. It's double sided and I top stitched it so the white wouldn't show up too much at the side and it's so soft. I love this. Now I have three pieces and I'm going to set them together with my sewing machine with a simple stray stitch. And now you will see footage of me sewing a zipper into the back but I will move the, that zipper to the side when I make the other model but it's quite relevant because you need it to add in the dart. So I put this top on inside out and then I squeezed under my boobs until it had the perfect fit and I put a pin in this. And now I'm going to sew along this line so it forms a dart that and this will make the top fit better to my body. 
Then I added the skirt to the top and I made this circle skirt a little bit too big so I could add a few folds so it would be extra wavy. That's totally optional. You can also just make it in your right size. And then I attached the top to the skirt and I also attached the zipper. And now it's time to look at the first model of this dress. Hey, well, my hair is wet because I took a shower. I do that sometimes. And this is how the dress is for right now. I love the skirt, but honestly, I'm not that convinced on the top part. Like, it's not ugly, it's nice, but it's not really party party. Like, it more feels like, you know, a dress I made to walk around in like a normal day. And I want it to be dressed to go to parties. So actually, I have changed the total plan. I'm going to try to cut this one shoulder. If that still works, otherwise I will make another top. So I'm going to try to make this a oh, white shoulder top and I also want to add like a bow in here like a red bow and this zipper will have to be moved to the side so I'm probably going to working on this all day so I took this dramatically fallen piece of chalk and I draw where I wanted the fabric to be cut out. Then I cut out the front I got out the zipper in the back because I want to put an invisible one in the side. Then I cut off the back and I also closed the back part where the zipper was supposed to be. And then I cut it out a little more to make it perfect. And now I'm going to zigzag around the rocket edges and also fold them over around the centimeter. So, you know, it would look nicely finished. Okay, so this is what I have for right now, a dress with one shoulder and I want to add the bow over my shoulder and for that I need to measure how long the bow should be and you know it's not that easy because I have to hold it but it will be there as soon as possible. I'm going to make it, it was 18 but I'm going to make it 20. So I cut two squares in the same size as the shoulder band and the length I just measured. And then I laid them right sides together and sewn them with a simple straight stitch. But I only sewn the sides so I could turn them around. And now I'm going to put in the open sides. And I set this with my ironer just to make it easier. And now you can easily slide the open sides over the edge of the shoulder piece and sew this in place with a simple straight stitch. Then you repeat this step for the other piece of the shoulder band and you sew this in place as well. And now you have this weird square on top of your shoulder and I wanted this to be a bow. So I cut a piece of black fabric and I folded this double, sewn this and then I turned it around because this makes a nice strap. And I'm going to fit this around my bow and just take the whole dress and sew this together. Then I trimmed the edge off and I turned this round around so you know the badly trimmed edge would be at the inside of the round. And ta da 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 da, here is the bow! And that was it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this one was a little bit chaotic with like the changing of the model. I will try to make my next video some more logical. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Hopefully.